Westminster friends and family, Pastor Chris here with your weekly update. And this Sunday is the Super Bowl. I know some of you are excited about the backup center for the Philadelphia Eagles from Beatrice and the University of Nebraska. I know that others of you are very fired up for the closest NFL team to where we live, the Kansas City Chiefs. That's who I'll be pulling for. Um, but I, whether you're excited about the game or excited about seeing the commercials or whatever the case may be, we know that that is something people get drawn to. And this Sunday at church, we hope you'll be drawn to another type of Super Bowl, the Super Bowl of Caring, where we collect funds for uh, local ministries. This year we are giving to The Gathering Place and we are giving to Matt Talbot Kitchen. Uh, those are two opportunities where the money will be split. The Super Bowl of Caring, S-O-U-P-E-R, again, bowl, is designed as an opportunity for local congregations to raise funds in an exciting way to give to help people uh, who may be impoverished, who may be experiencing homelessness, who may be hungry on the day of the game. That uh, tradition actually began at a church in Columbia, South Carolina that uh, I've known pretty well. And the pastor there at a Super Bowl watch party with the youth was asked to pray and ended up praying while well, we hope that uh, folks who don't have food may find soup in their bowls. Uh, and that is how the Super Bowl of Caring began. It's very local, but even though it's a large national and even now international uh, outreach opportunity here at Westminster. Again, we give to those two local organizations. Our youth will be collecting in soup pots after the worship service. Uh, we invite you to bring cash. That's a sim the simplest way to give. Uh, and we want to support those ministries very well this year in the spirit of helping people. Also coming up uh, in a couple of Sundays on the 19th is our congregational meeting. Uh, we'll approve the terms of call uh, for myself. We will uh, look at the annual report and we will inform you about the budget. Uh, we do wanna let you know that our budget is in process as we move toward that February finalization. Our Stewardship and Finance Committee has been meeting um, and we're looking good. We do wanna remind people that if you have uh, sort of reviewed where you are at the beginning of the year and feel that you can give more, that will always help us to continue to expand our ministries here at the church. Our individual ministry areas, our programs such as worship and music, children, youth, mission and outreach, and on and on, uh, we're invited to, to build toward a dream budget. So as they have dreamed, we hope that you will help us meet those dreams as best as you can. For all of you who have pledged or already given your pledge for the beginning of the year, I wanna say a, a heartfelt thank you. Um, we look forward to an exciting and energized year of ministry here at Westminster. Um, I think 2023 is gonna have a lot of great things in store for us here at the church. Lastly, I do wanna remind you that uh, we have just over a week left or about a week uh, ending on the 15th uh, for you to bring diapers to the church for our partnering with the Junior League as a, a host site for their annual diaper drive uh, to help, again, support neighbors in need. That is one of the goals of our congregation, but a specific goal of our mission and outreach uh, committee and our mission and outreach work is to meet basic needs of people around us. So you'll hear more ways of doing that throughout the year and a basic need uh, certainly is diapers. So we hope that you'll bring some in as that wraps up here soon on the 15th. A lot of things going on. Big Super Bowl, S-O-U-P-E-R, this Sunday uh, at the end of worship. So we hope that you'll bring some cash to support those organizations. And I'll look forward to seeing you Sunday here at church or online.